How do you think real estate will do in Chatham County in 2017? Mm, crystal ball. I have no idea, but I mean, there are some things that I think we know of. I think people are going to continue to move to our area. Um, I feel as though that uh, the economy is still strong. I feel real estate values overall are um, appreciating, but not like drastically. I, the good news is uh, we may not have the huge jumps in appreciation, but then I don't think we'll have the huge dives that we've had before. So hopefully it's a little bit more of a, um, a moderate uh, increase in prices. We're looking at average about two and a half, three percent. We're not seeing any huge, huge price increases. I do think some people are um, uh, very optimistic about Chatham Park and how that's going to influence it. And so I think <clears throat> right now some of our landowners are, <coughs> excuse me, overly ambitious as far as what they're asking for and what they want. We are having uh, some appraisal issues right now because prices are going up, but the way that appraisers uh, make sure that you have um, a verified value or verified collateral for the bank is that they look at what sold before. So in an escalating market, that can be difficult to get those comps. But, um, but overall, I think things are going to be really, really strong in Chatham County. I'm very very biased on Chatham County you know we're, we cover we cover about 30 counties in my office and this is what we're based out of um, but when I drive around and I look around this is really one of the most beautiful counties as far as topography um, the fact that we still have large tracks available that it's mostly hardwoods that we have some water features it's just it's just a really really nice mix um, I do think that you know, even though Chatham County is such a gem right now, within those gems, those large tracts of land, I think are gonna become more and more rare. And, you know, we see that in our neighboring areas, Raleigh, Cary, even Apex now, Chapel Hill and Durham. <clears throat> getting a getting a, a, a two or three acre lot, which, you know, a few years ago, that seemed like nothing, but now a two or three acre lot is a huge lot to have. And uh, those are gonna become increasingly rare. And I have people all the time say, oh, I just want 40 acres, or I just want 100 acres. It's, it's very, very rare to find a 40 or 100 acre track right now that's available. Um, to do that in like the northern part of the county or around the lake, you actually have to put several tracks together right now. It's very, very rare that somebody has just a singular track like that. So overall, the view for 2017 is I think that we're probably going to do just a little bit better than we did in 2016. Not hugely better. And 2016 has been a phenomenal year, but I think we'll do a little bit better in 2017. I do think people need to consider um, uh, a rise in interest rates, um, uh, mortgages. I mean, we're just at historical lows, historically inexpensive. I would imagine that um, there's been some indication that we're having a little bit of inflation. Um, if the economy does get better, I do think interest rates will go up and maybe things will get a lot better as far as banking is concerned because banks aren't really um, aggressive as far as giving out loans right now because the profit margin's not there. But if they have more interest, they might be more interested themselves in getting more loans and more products out there because the banks will be making money on their money. So overall, 2017 is going to be a great year.